All right, here's my audience members. Okay. Um, in reading the lives of great men, I found that the first victory they won was over themselves. Self-discipline with all of them came first. Harry S. Truman. Oklahoma has produced a tremendous roster of talented artists, gifted athletes, inventive scientists, dedicated public servants, and inspired leaders. In other words, great men and women. I am thankful to call one such legend my neighbor. We met when he bought cattle from my grandparents so he could first establish his ranch. Within the time I've spent with him, I've recognized him as a great man of integrity and honor. And because of this, I spent time researching him and reading some of his written works. General Tommy Franks chose to make his home in the beautiful Wichita Mountains of Oklahoma after retiring from his distinguished career in the United States Army. Today, I would like to inform you about his early life, military career, and retirement. Tommy Franks was a born and raised Oklahoma, and according to his website, he was born in Winniewood, Oklahoma, but actually grew up in Midland, Texas, where he graduated high school and later achieved a bachelor's degree in business administration a master's in public administration, and is also a graduate of the Armed Forces Staff College and the Army War College. He also spent time in the, mil in the military in places like West Germany, Korea, and Arabia, all while pursuing his academic interests. His time there prepared him later for his later leadership roles as a four-star general. The reason he got into the military at a young age was probably because of his father. Uh, he's, his father served as a mechanic in World War II, He'd been injured in an accident as a child, leaving him blind in one eye and missing digits on his left hand, hindering him from active service in the military. However, he instilled a very strong sense of national pride in General Franks. During his military career as a general, he received many honors and medals for his service. The awards and honors he earned are remarkable. Franks makes mention of these, and they include uh, three, defense distinguished, three Defense Distinguished Service Medals, two Distinguished Service Medals, four Legions of Merit awards, three Purple Hearts, three Bronze Stars, an Air Medal, an Army Commendation Medal, a Presidential Medal of Freedom, and even a Knight Commander appointment by the Queen of England. He says the greatest honor he ever received was getting to serve his country. Um, he served as a four-star general and led Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraq Iraqi Freedom in Iraq. He is known for his boots-on-the-ground style of leading. Rather than remaining in the command center, he chose to lead shoulder to shoulder. This is celebrated in his museum, where his uniform is on display with his boots placed symbolically on the ground. However, he is not without his critics. American journalist and author Thomas E. Ricks wrote in his book, The Generals, American Military Command from World War II to Today. Um, most generals, at most, get the opportunity to lose one war. Franks bungled two in just, in just three years. Despite this, many people think of Franks as the best uh, modern U.S. general we've had. Tommy Franks was still very active in the community in his retirement. While there is much to be respected about the career and character of General Franks, I also hold in high regard the contributions he continues to make through the Leadership Academy he founded in Southwest Oklahoma. Through this program, he continues to give back to his community and bring up strong leaders. He provides many scholarships for young high school students. Despite being able to live anywhere, he chose to live in southwest Oklahoma where he raises a strong herd of black Angus cattle, Texas longhorns, and in an effort to pay homage to the natural history of the plains of Oklahoma, he even has a small buffalo herd. He remains humble and consistently states, I'm no hero, but I know a lot of them. He remains a strong positive influence in the community and leads by example. General Franks has done many things for this country in his role as a four-star general, and continues to do so through his leadership academy. Today, I have discussed Tommy Franks' early life, military career, and retirement. I'm proud to call such a, such a man my neighbor and a friend of my grandparents. General Franks sets a high standard, but he inspires many like myself to become a man like him through his actions and accomplishments. I hope you've become better informed about Tommy Franks today. Thanks. And here's my audience. All right.